me earlier. It was really a great favor. Well, I don't know what it was I did, Doctor, but it's certainly welcome. All that commotion, it, uh, it hid me from some people I didn't really want to see. I know what you mean. I can't say goodbye to myself. I couldn't say good goodbye to a girl, and now I'm in a hell of a mess. Pardon me, Doctor. Oh, I don't give a damn. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. You did a favor for me. Maybe I can do you one. Well, I don't think so, Doc. You see, my favor isn't spiritual. It's financial. Well, if it's money you want, I can get you some of that. You can? Sure! The guy sailing with me has about 50 grand with him. Very easy going with it, too. Which is natural. Time was, uh... He used to make the stuff himself. Mooney! <laughs> hey, Bonnie, did you see Snake Eyes? Did you see Mr. Hill? That's what I came to tell you about! Oh, did the cops get him? Was he forcibly retained? <laughs> I don't know about that. He just never showed up and left me holding his ticket. Is that a ticket? Say, this is just as good as money. Well, if it's a ticket you want, here. Be my guest. Thank you. Good of you, Reverend. And uh, how about his passport? Could you uh, make any use of that as well? Well, Lord, help me if they ever look at this picture. Well, I can fix you up so as to resemble it. Can I uh, give you a little scar there and uh, part your hair a little differently? And, uh... Then I can break your nose. <laughs> Let's not be too hasty. I could break it slowly. Honey, fix me up. What? Fix me up. Oh, excuse me. This is Bonnie. I think you two ought to get acquainted. After all, you're going to be roommates. <laughs> roommates? Yes, she goes with Mr. Hill's ticket. Oh, well, excuse me, but I have other engagements. <laughs> it's all right with you, Doc. I'll be rooming with you. Goodbye.